This is step three on my on my RG refinishing project. Uh, this is uh, applying the color. Uh, this is a see-through color, as you can see. So uh, it is uh, what we call a tint. Um, so what you will need for this step, you need cloths because the tint will uh, dye your hand. Uh, you have you need thinner. Uh, you need cheese cloth to apply, and uh, you need your color. So uh, basically what you will need to do is to uh, take your tint and uh, thin it with your thinner and uh, dip your cheese slot in it and uh, just apply. Um, you can go in the sense of the wood but there is there's really no need for this. And uh, on this one I had done a, a burst. So uh, what, what I did for the burst is uh, pretty simple. What you need to do is uh, you, you make a color and then you, uh, you stretch it from outside to inside so um, what it will do it will uh, be uh, more opaque on the exterior side and um, as you stretch it will just do just thinner mark so uh, next step is going to be uh, apply lacquer I'm not going to uh, to record this uh, but it's basically you have uh, apply thin coats of lacquer and um, you have uh, for for this instruction this take two way to apply it. I'm going uh, to apply about five coats and and see how it works. Um, to apply when you apply multiple coats, you either have to apply the the, uh, the um, second coat or the third coat and ongoing in within two hours, so it will stick to one another or after 72 hours. If you do the after 72 hours, you will need to uh, lightly sand between coats so it will stick to one another. So uh, I'll keep you posted on this and the next video will be uh, about um, making the, uh, the, the mirror-like finish. So uh, see you next time.